on the button with a music sound. Hello there, and welcome to my very own show, On The Button. I'm your host, Angus McStone. If you've seen On The Button before, you'll know that I get to talk to some of my very favourite curlers in the whole wide world. And today is no different. I'm here with Nolan Thiessen. So, tell me, Nolan, at what age did you start curling? Uh, when I was 11 years old, I started curling. So, oh, right. just a young whippersnapper. Right, and who, who got you into it? My parents. Your parents? Are your parents curlers as well? They are. They, were, they never got to as high a level as me, but they curled for sure. Good stuff, good stuff. So, you've been there since age 11. What's kept you in the sport so long? Probably because I'm good at it. Ah, <laughs> I know what you mean. I was the same with dragon riding. I was pretty good at that too. But uh, a nasty accident when I fell off the tail and bumped my head on one of the sharp claws, well, that ended my career. You're but, good uh, now? Oh, I'm good now. Yes, okay. everything's perfect. <laughs> now, I did a wee bit of research, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently your grandfather was the first guy ever to be able to work out how to record something on a VCR. Is that correct? It was. He's a, it was a trailblazer. Wow. Now, is there anything that you have on your bucket list of things to do, either within curling or outside of curling, that you haven't done yet? Ooh, you know, uh, maybe just the Olympic gold medal. That's the only thing that's left on the old bucket list that I want to obtain. Okay, good, good, good. It's always, always good to have that ambition. So, if you went ahead and you, you captured the, the gold medal in the Olympics, would that be it for you? You think you'd retire after that? Yeah, who wouldn't want to? I mean, you just walk off. I won an Olympic gold medal. I'm never playing another game ever again. The it's a great memory. The Olympic champion. I like it. I like it. I like That's it. got a ring to it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> An Olympic ring. Ah. <laughs> I, see what I, did. I see what you did there. I see what yeah. I did, uh. Right. So there's a, a wee bit of debate right now over the, 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 the brooms and some of the fabric. So could you tell us a little bit more about what's going on in the sport and, and why this is such a problem? Uh, we just want the athletic endeavor of uh, the talent to shine through and not have technology be the determining factor of who wins games. So, uh, you know, we're, we've changed the stigma of curlers to be athletic guys. We don't want it to go back in time to where you don't really have to be athletic. Okay, yeah. So what is it about these, these brooms that makes it so, so much more of a competitive advantage to, to have one? Uh, I don't know, there's something about the broom, something about a certain type of fabric that uh, the way that it goes on the ice, the rock just kind of goes wherever you put your broom and um, that's just opposite to what we kind of naturally want the sport to appear to be. In curling, when you're getting ready to go on the ice, do you, do you have like a, a pump up kind of song? Is there something that really gets you invigorated or is there something in your routine that you do to get motivated for the game? Um, you know, I'm actually a guy that probably gets too excited, so I try not to pump myself up too more. I'm just going out there is enough. Um, I listen to a lot of hip hop music. It might not be quite what you listen to, but uh, I listen to a lot of hip hop music. So what, what is hip hop? It sounds like some kind of schoolyard kind of game you'd play. Yeah, the school kids like it. The school kids like it. So, and, and who's, your, who's your favorite artist? Um, I listen to a lot of Tupac. I'm a kid from the 90s, so I mean, that's, uh, that's my wheelhouse. Cool, cool. Well, it's been absolutely fantastic talking to you and getting to know a wee bit more about you. Thank you for coming, Nolan Thiessen, <laughs> and maybe we'll see you out there on the ice. Thanks, Angus.